Soil organic matter cycles continuously between its living, actively decomposing and more stable fractions. When plants and animals die, they are decomposed to become part of the soil organic matter. Soil organisms fragment and consume organic residues, gaining energy to grow and reproduce. Fresh residues are broken down into smaller pieces and become part of the particulate organic matter fraction. As the material is further decomposed, a proportion of more biologically stable material enters the humus pool. Nutrients and other compounds not required by microorganisms are released as a result of this transformation and can then be used by plants. As the organic residues continue to decompose, a very small proportion becomes chemically stabilised, enabling it to resist further change. Again, nutrients superfluous to microbial requirements are released and are made available to plants. Nutrients resulting from organic matter transformations can supply up to 80% of the plant's requirements. Carbon dioxide emissions result from these biological transformations.